Hey guys, welcome to the Dan Kitchen. It begin to look like Christmas. And Christmas is not Christmas without a sorrel cake. But even before you make that sorrel cake, do you know you have to make the sorrel puree? This is my menu because I'm making a sorrel cake today. This is a sorrel puree that I already made. I do a video on it and I will be linking both the sorrel puree and the sorrel cake together. This is a juice from the sorrel, some of the juice from the sorrel puree. See, stick and red. I will be using this to feed the cake. So, one cup of sugar, one pound of butter. If you need, you can add more sugar according to your taste bud. These are my dry ingredient. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon powder. Half a teaspoon of baking powder. Quarter teaspoon of salt. Half teaspoon of brown ginger. Half teaspoon of cloves rounded. I'm not done with my dry ingredient. I choose to use the natural nutmeg. This is a nutmeg. Also on the outside you have the maize. This is really good for baking too. I will be grate the nutmeg. And also the maize. I don't choose to use the other nutmeg. I don't choose to use the natural nutmeg. And the grate just enough to get like one spoon, one teaspoon, half a teaspoon. Yeah. This is freshly grated nutmeg. Like to also in with the, the maize from the nutmeg. So it's half teaspoon of nutmeg. I come combining all the dry ingredient in one. for a little room. Four eggs. Two teaspoon of vanilla. Two teaspoon of almond. That's the liquid. Two cups of flour, there is something about the eggs, sometimes there is the eye inside the eggs that when you break the egg, you just want to remove. 
if you see that inside the head you just want to ensure you remove the high from the head you see if you don't remove these things it make the cake raw when it bake so ensure you move you remove all of those stuff and then you wanna beat the eggs until light and fluffy fluffy so the egg is light and fluffy want to go in with the dry ingredient all the spice here with the flour and the reason why you sweep the flour is for air to go through it and it become light I'm putting in the vanilla. Let's add this to the air. In baking, you have to ensure you be accurate on your measurement. Choose not to use the mixer. I'm using my spatula to grease the flour, to grease the sugar and the butter together. You do until lighter. and sugar it's very light followed by the egg the eggs use a mixer but I just choose not to because probably some people might not have the mixer but at this point I'm not but I'm going to use a mixer anyhow but I'm going to show in the next type of method you can use the spatula without the mixer I'm going to use the mixer now So you want to make sure you mix the, all the spice with the flour and, and now I will be folding this into the egg, butter and sugar mixture. And you do gradually. Adding in the soil puree. Juice from the puree. Look, see? 
So here I finish mixing and it's looking like this. You see? So now I will be greasing my baking pan. I don't have to because this is a non-stick baking pan but extra precaution just want to keep the pan out you guys now I will be pouring if there is any leftover you don't want to fold the pan all the way up you have to leave some space for the cake to breathe. You just want to tap on it or ear. Let me do some. Move the top. So I just let it rest for one minute. Let it just rest in the pan for one minute. So guys, guys. Just remember when you're baking, just take the butter out overnight because the butter have to be at room temperature. The butter you're going to put with the sugar have to be at room temperature. So I will be baking the cereal fruit cake for one and a half hour. Hey guys, it's now one and a half hour. It's time to look on the cereal fruit cake. The cereal fruit cake is baked. Remember, I told you the juice from the puree. I'll be using it over on it now. So, hey guys, hey guys, this is the sorry fruit cake for Christmas. Now it begins to look like Christmas, right? So, I'm gonna cut a piece of this, I'm gonna take a slice out. And enjoy it <laughs> guys you should taste this man give it a try so give me a thumbs up share and subscribe thank you for watching deep down kitchen